In this short video, I'm going to explain what all is in our cybersecurity bundle, what do we do, and why it's important. So, some context of what's going on in the world of cybersecurity threats. So 30% of the phishing messages that we receive, which we are bombarded with every day, are opened, which is shockingly high. 93% of data breaches include a phishing email. It's not through USB drives or CD-ROMs or getting it while you happen to hit, be surfing the web and searching Google. It's through phishing emails. The average time to for somebody to fall for this trap and click on a link and something they shouldn't is only 16 seconds, so super quick. So by the time these things get blocked, uh, hours later, the damage has been done. 68% of organizations uh, fall victim to some sort of cyber attack in the last year. And this is across the world. Canada, 63%, US, 71 uh, Japan, Britain, all these different countries. One in two organizations were hit by ransomware last year. So in the current landscape, firewalls and antivirus are just not enough. And the data shown from uh, over 5,000 companies that were researched in the last one or two years, 90% uh, of those companies that were hacked actually had firewall and, and antivirus. So we've developed a cybersecurity bundle because this is a, so important. And basically, rather than selling all these individual things, it's just a bundle, it's got everything, uh, the processes, the tools, the technology, and the, our people are trained on this as well. Um, so here's the list of things, I won't read them off, I'm gonna unpack them on the next slide but you're welcome to screenshot this and come back to it later, as well as it's in our proposal. So dark web identity exposure monitoring is we will alert when your usernames or passwords show up online, whether it's a LinkedIn Dropbox account that got hacked, different things where it's showing up, it could be in a form. Um, there's so many services that our users sign up for and that could get hacked, whether it's something fairly popular like a Dropbox or Facebook, and it, but it could be some something more on the fringe as well. And those can be leveraged to then get to another platform or send a phishing email that looks like it's coming from somebody within the organization, or it could be going to your vendor as well. So it's all about um, protecting, closing all these holes. Uh, we do a quarterly phishing test, actually email to your users with something that looks really legitimate. It's not gonna say this is a phishing test, but it'll look like a FedEx or an Amazon or a password reset email. Here's some examples of what we might send based on what the fishers are sending. And here's some general click rates. Uh, the, uh, we're, we're gonna send something relevant as well based on your what you're using. If you're using Gmail, we're not gonna send a 365 thing that your users aren't expecting at all. So. Uh, we will test your users and report back how are they doing. So here's an example of an email we did for ourselves. We test our, all of my employees get tested as well. So this is using uh, Slack, password reset notification, and people fell for this. I'll show you that on the next slide. On the right, you see another phishing template for using an Outlook Microsoft email password reset. And then this is uh, one of the dashboard reports showing uh, who it was sent to, who got caught, so how many emails were sent. You can see 29% of the emails were opened, seven of the 24. How many reported? Zero of them reported it. How many were caught? Four of them, and one finished training. So if they were caught, we will automatically send them emails to uh, polish up on their training and close those gaps, because maybe they forgot the training and or never had it. Some of them uh, fell between the cracks. And then you see a list of below of the, the four users that clicked an email. And here's another example showing the different behaviors of your users as they go through these, or are subjected to these tests. Who clicked on it first, the fastest report, or what types of devices. Again, these things are just as um, large of a threat on mobile devices, because users can put in passwords they shouldn't. They can release their 365 or Gmail password to a hacker who can then escalate from there, from that point. And just another report showing a list of users, how often they've been caught. And then we also do monitoring. So looking at strange things going on uh, with, let's say with Office 365, logins from other companies or networks that normally don't happen. So looking at authorized companies and looking at administrator abuse. And there's, there's other things as well. I will not bore you with all the details here. Our team can help with that. Then 
we also really wrap um, rack it up the security on Office 365 best practices. This is important because our default security is quite low. It's meant for the general population, for everyone to get you up and going quick with email. So we go and put in the best practices like two-factor authentication, more logging, more auditing. So when something happens, we have data to look at. Blocking bad file types like programs and macro viruses and, or files with macros. We can block things or alert on that. And as well, we can make sure that users don't can't automatically forward emails to a Hotmail, a Gmail, or another company. So hackers will use this as well as uh, employees that aren't quite to be trusted could do that as well. So we, we want to lock those things down. It should be done through a proper change control process, and we know what's going on. Then for as you hire new users, so obviously initially as you sign up for a bundle, as well as when you add and hire new people, they go through the training, specific training, looking at some of the roles, are they accounting, finance, sales, marketing, send them relevant content, and then we'll keep that up to date. So about every three months, we'll send them updated training. So it's not boring, keep it fresh, not repeating the same stuff, it's new content all the time. Uh, other reports and as such as well that we send to you, as well as we have a lot more that we won't send to avoid just barraging you with information, but we have it available as well. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this, or reach out to our team or whoever sent this to you.